Smells and Beauty Wirral and this is my take on the Jelly Feet colour range. Now I'm doing 10 today because I've got so many other colours coming through and I've got other things coming through from Jelly Feet that I just wanted to try and get all these colours out. So I've got a mixture of the greys that have come through that I'll do in a second and I'm going to mat all of them so you can see the difference. But what I'm going to do on this first set is these. Now we've got Vogue, which is a lovely red. They're all lovely and there's literally loads of reds in, in the collection of Jelly Feek. So I will be putting up a compilation of the reds. This one is Louis Vuitton. Absolutely stunning on that one. Then we have Euphoria. She's a little bit more paler, but absolutely stunning. And Twilight is gorgeous, so you'll see them go on in a second. And then I've got Cashmere Sweater. Now, I wasn't sure whether to put this in with the greys or bunch them with some colours. So I bunched them with some colours just to um, have a look to see if um, it is more of a grey or whether it's got another undertone to it. So as normal, I've got an unprepped tip. You see, I've got different tips going on this time. I've had, oops, I've had a bit of a clear out of drawers and found old tips from donkeys years ago and I thought I'll get rid of them. So first off, we're going on with a Louis Vuitton. So as normal, very thin. Let me just check, I'm in shock there. I can't even see me, yes. Um very thin coats now the more pigmented these colors are um the thinner your coats are going to have to be to get them to cure especially when you're coming into the grays because i have found a couple of the grays i've not cured as well as i would have liked them to so very very thin with the louis Vuitton. so lovely red already and let's see how many times I can completely mess things up going this way. <laughs> Trying anyway. Right, so next to the Louis Vuitton, I'm going to be doing Vogue. Now, this is a deeper red. Not a burgundy, but it is true to the screen colour. Because I've checked all of them settings out. Once again, very thin coat. I will, as promised, do the compilations of the reds that I have and the greys that I have. And what I will do to show you the difference in colours is matte the whole lockdown because I think that that shows you then the difference in the colour because it's only, only slight. So, in it goes for its cook. Right, so close that one so this is the Louis Vuitton after one coat so we'll do the second coat and then I will put the armor top coat on these the greys I am going to do in the mat as I said before so take most of the product back off and a second thin coat all you girls out there that use these know how thin these coats are so you know you get value for money when you're buying these products because you get so many sets out of them. Uh, let's just get that one in and get that cooking away. Uh, right, so anybody that's new to this channel, thank you, welcome. Um, I, I found Jelly Feek within the um, lockdown and I did lots and lots of research on why I couldn't wear my own gels, which was another brand. And I found out was the fact that I actually have a problem with HEMA. 
um because i was like that with um acrylics and stuff like that i would find i was putting them on and then having to take them straight off it was like it's like if they were too heavy or just annoying for my fingers so i did a load of research and come across jelly freak and i thought mm, i'll give it a go i've got nothing to lose so i just ordered a, a couple and i tried them out and i've not looked back since um so I'm doing my best to go through all of the colours because I did find with the Jelly Fig site that there wasn't that much information on the coloration of these guys and they are so similar, some of them, particularly in the greys and some of the reds are so samey as well that I just decided for my own peace of mind I was going to video them and then thought, no, I'll share them with you lot. So this is the Louis Vuitton, and have I got that in shot? I think so, yes. There. So it's a lovely red, but once again, you're going to have lovely reds already in your collection. So when I do the side-by-side -side comparison, oh, see, I'm dropping it already. When I do the side-by-side -side comparison in a later video, you'll be able to sort of make up your mind of what colour red you want to go for. And then that is the Vogue not that is a gorgeous color so it's a deeper deeper red as you can see and we do have deeper reds within the other collections that i've already got videos up of so you'll see them in the other the other videos because there's that many reds there's that many reds and that many grays it's really my collection's become ridiculously red and gray <laughs> i sort of look around me and try gray gold and silver so yeah just be careful how much money you're spending on these things right now this one is which one's this one this is cashmere sweater and it does have a different gray undertone to it and i'm going to say it again it's got a, it's got a purple undertone so it's not grey grey but then it's not purple definitely not lavender but either way that's a very pretty colour am I still in shot with you guys because I've got to set up a little bit different with my camera oh she's pretty let's put it in right what I want to do is get on because Twilight and Euphoria, for me to give you the best look, is going to need a or probably, I'm going to say between two and three coats. You don't need two and three coats on your clients. Can you see all that sparkle already? Now this does have a purple undertone to it. It's not just me and my purples and violets because I have worked out it is the background. So that is stunning. Absolutely love that. And my clients who had it on the other day thought it was absolutely beautiful. Right, so that is cashmere sweater. I'm going to put its second coat on. While I'm still playing with my Twilight and Euphoria. Because I've got 10 to do on this one. And I don't want you sitting around so, so listening to me waffle. I just want to try and get them done so you can see them. And then the pictures at the end as always. Alright, so there's our second coat. Oh, we haven't had that many mishaps at the minute, but it's still early. I've usually spilt something or knocked something by now. Clumsy the best of times. So on with a second thin coat. Always thin, there's no, no need to waste your product. If you need to go in with another coat just to get more depth, then do so. You'd probably still use less what you would have done using thicker coats but in between cap them all and they'll all stay happily secured to your client's nail now i will only need two coats on that because i've decided to use 
um, a different tip and not the clear tip. So that was just pure coincidence. So there's Kashmir in all of her glory. She's lovely, isn't she? Now, would you put her in with the greys? We will have to wait and see what the greys come out like. But I just wanted to throw it in this one, so I add. <laughs> I add a different colour. Right, and then we've got Euphoria. Now, to wear that one is the blue. This is the purple. Or is it the other way around? can't remember. Let me take that out. Right. There's that one. No, this is the purple. That is the blue. So Twilight is the blue and Euphoria is the purple. And once again, very, very thin coats. Now that this, the glitter they've got suspended in this is so fine. It's like a micro pigment. And the dispersal is beautiful. It's consistent. There is no gaps. There's no messing around. There's no moving them. They are just stunning. So they're the ones we've done so far. Louis Vuitton, Vogue, Cashmere Sweater and Twilight. I'm doing well today, girls. Doing well today. I haven't messed up yet, but then I've got another five to go. And I've remembered the names, so... Obviously, I haven't picked hard ones at the minute. At the minute, we will have a look when we get into the greys in a second. Right, so the second coat of Euphoria just going on now. And you can just see how beautiful that is. Now, it probably doesn't help this one, the fact that it's on a very similar background down here. But when I do that, let me check when I do that, that sort of helps. She's stunning, she really is. So I'd honestly say you don't need to think about Twilight and Euphoria being in your collection. They are a definite. Put them in your collection because they are beautiful. Right, so I'm going to bring these greys over here. So we have Louis Vuitton, we have Vogue, we have a cashmere sweater, then we have a twilight and coming out now is a beautiful euphoria. Now there wasn't really anything hard to describe within that lot because you know like when I get the reds and all the greys I'm like oh there's just one drop difference these were all different and I did that deliberately because I'm running out of ways to describe these beautiful colours to you this is now where I get this one is urban chic and so we will see what that one is like and then we have Manhattan oops and we have a charcoal. Now charcoal, you need to put on super, super, super thin. Because this one will ripple. Then we have a bolt and a slate. Oops, let's kill the others while we're at it. So, I don't know whether you can see on there that they are all massively different. So hopefully, once these are keep knocking my knee into my desk once these are popped you're going to see the difference where it then becomes harder is when we put all the greys together and literally you, you would have heard me describe it as one drop or two drops difference so I'm hoping that by the time I get all my greys together oh that, that goes on quite thick that one nice creamy consistency when I get all the greys together I'm going to mat them all because I have found that is the best way of telling that subtle difference. So let's get that one in. Now I have used this one because obviously it's got a number on. So it is already within my salon collection. 
and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Now these nails I haven't prepped, they, they're just still slippy and slimy so I find that that way I find out that's how I know I've got to cure these longer because once they're on your, na your client's nails you've, you've obviously etched them all in and stuff like that but this always gives me an idea of the curing times. Now this is the charcoal and this one I am going to put on super super thin so it does cure within the 30 seconds because I don't want to be messing around with this tip and I don't want it coming off. But I would say that this is how super thin I put it on my clients because I didn't want them to have any problems with it afterwards because I noticed on one of my pops it had problems. Um, so, so we'll go back into Manhattan. Now Manhattan is a lovely grey in itself but you'll know from the other ones where you've got sky high and then that these are all so so similar. So watch out for that video. Um, if you like and follow the channel you'll obviously be notified, hit that bell, you'll be notified when the greys and the reds come up if you're interested in them particularly so you don't end up with every grey under the sun. Right, so that's its second coat. So let's go in. And I've got the jelly free clamp, so these are curing in 30 seconds. So let me close up that one because that one is now done with. Right, so you see how super thin that is. You can still see the tip through it. And once again, I'm going to go super thin again. So I'm going to concentrate on. Well, that, that's the free edge, that's the cuticle. But I'm going to concentrate on the edges and make sure that they've got all coverage. And then I'm just going to drag the product down to what will be the free edge if I add this the right way around. So you see how little product that that needs. And obviously cap it off. So you don't need a lot of this, even to get depth of colour. So in for 30. So that's our first one, which was Manhattan. So pop Manhattan there. And charcoal's done with now. Now, which one should we go? Now this one, I don't know what undertone this one's got. This is slate. And oh, slate comes in many, many colours. Now, when you look at the top and then when you look at the colour, slight difference, just a slight, slight difference. So we shall see. Let's bring charcoal back out for you. Now, what I will do is I'll go in with a third coat of charcoal because I do know sometimes it can take that third colour. So you, you see it's not as charcoal as you think. Charcoal I, I would have more blacker. But this is like a charcoal slate. It is within a slate range, but I wouldn't have said it was charcoal as we know it. And would expect in today when we look for something charcoal. So I just want to put that third coat on because they were super, super thin. And I do want you to see the, the proper colours of these because that's the whole idea of me doing these videos in the first place. There's no point in half cocking it. Right, so we're going to come in with slate. Now, as I say, this has a, a weird undertone. It's like a brownie undertone to my eye. But when I pop it on there, it's not quite as brown as I thought it was. So put your comments below and see what you think your undertone is of your of this one. Because I've got no picking idea of what that undertone is. But either way, it's pretty. 
right so this is charcoal coming back out so you can see just with that one extra coat it just gives it that little bit more definition a little bit more colour not that it needs it because it's pretty anyway because I do them super super thin because I do know I had that problem then I obviously don't want rippling on these because these are going on stands within my salon anyway so don't want to mess around with that right so I'm going to do the second coat of slate and these nails have gone upside down inside out back to front I will decide one day right cuticle up free edge down because that's the way we do it without a frown right concentrate on the cuticle area and obviously you wouldn't be touching your client's skin and then just pull that product down and you will get the full coverage without using massive amounts of gel so definitely drop a comment of what you think of the colour slate do you think slate actually is the right name for that one what would you call it interested to know right now we're going to move on to bolt i didn't know what to expect of bolt when i got it because i've got that many greys I'm, I'm still got more greys to come through to show you so i didn't really know but this to me is a very pretty grey it's a mid grey it's definitely a mid mid tone grey so we'll pop it and see now you may think i've i've popped all these and had a look at them i haven't the only ones I've used are the ones I actually tell you I've used. Um, otherwise, these are as new to my eyes as they are yours. So once again, thin down the tip. And just let it settle. And there it is all beautified and in for its 30, 30 second cure. So there is your slate. Let me know what you think of that one. And you'll see it's totally different once I've matted it down. And I'm not going to do what I did last time, which was do two lots and keep one with the armor top coat and one with the mat. These are just getting matted down. Because I find I end up with like 2,000 tips around the salon. And I'm like, I can't remember what that one's for no more. So they've all, all in a little box, hiding away in the corner. Because I've forgotten which ones they are already. Because there's that many that I've got that I didn't know them all by heart. Didn't even pick up enough then. Right, so in with a second thin coat and just pulling the gel down. And that's all you would do on your client as well, is you just stretch the product because this product doesn't shrink back. So you don't need to worry about shrinkage on the Jelly Feet product. I did have that with another brand I used. So I couldn't really stretch it as far. So I was using a little bit more than normal. And it would seriously wind me up. Right, our last one for today's video is Urban Chic. Now, what did I expect when I read Urban Chic? No idea. No idea, but I don't think I expected something that reminded me of a puddle of mud. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jelly Fig, but that's what it reminded me of growing up playing in a puddle of mud. Great grey water where I was born. Right. And so we'd, we'd make our own mud and we'd, we'd play in the streets for hours and hours and hours. So, yeah, show me age now. Um, I hope you all had a good laugh at my grandson's video he was bored on boxing day so he wanted to do a youtube video so he asked nanny could he do a youtube video so you, you actually got to see a little bit of me and my wonderful little grandson on there it's the love of my life pain in the backside 
but love of my life. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's absolutely hilarious. So that one is Bolt. So that's a lovely mid-grey. Again, a lot of these are fallen. When, when I'm doing the reviews on the, on Jelly Feek's site as well, and I'm sort of like, how many times have I wrote mid-grey? Because they are middle-of-the-range greys, and there's nothing else I can put in there. I can put this is at the lighter end of a mid-grey, this is at the far end of the mid-grey, but they are mid-greys. And this still reminds me of the puddles I used to play in. This is what used to make our potato colour, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. So God alone knows what I could have caught over the donkey's years being a child growing up in the area I grew up in. Not a bad area, but we played out and like, we played shop. We had a lot of imagination. No computer games back in them days. So... All fun times out in all weathers. Right, so that is our second coat of Urban Chic. Right, please let me know in the comments below what you think of Urban Chic. What does that remind you of? Even if it's a building, we can all go and Google. You know, so we can have a look. So I'm just going to bring these back in. So, just a quick recap, we have Louis Vuitton, we have Vogue, we have Cashmere Sweater, then we have, oops, <laughs> Twilight and Euphoria on them. Right, and then we have, see, here we go. Right, Manhattan, then I know that one's charcoal. Right, now... That one's Slate, that one's Bolt, see this is why I don't like walking away from these, right, and then uh, this one is Urban Chic. So I'm going to pop off, let me just see if I can get them so you can see them, All right. oh, <laughs> it had to happen didn't it, it had to happen. Right, so there's your grey. Oh, see, these are all going to be covered in fuzzies and everything by the time we get these back. Oh my lord! Right, and that's the first lot we did. Right, so I'm going to go and mat these, but while we're there, this one here, which is cashmere sweater, would you put cashmere sweater, which is in the centre here? Would you put that in with your greys? Please let me know. I will mat down cashmere sweater so you can have a look at it. And the pictures will follow the video as normal. So I'm going to pop you on pause. And I'll see you all in the next one. I'll take care. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being there. Just thanks for the support. Take care, guys.